That's pretty good. Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome to another arousing episode of Sip, Shrifts, and Flicks. I'm your co-host, Kevin. And I'm your co-host, Brandon. I just like it when we listen to the Escape Club, you get aroused. <laughs> <We're, it's> another, <laughs> another arousing episode with the Escape Club. <laughs> I did not know that was the Escape Club. What? I, I mean, I know the song, but I didn't know that. Yeah, I mean, that's great. That's from the 80s. I remember the video. I was born in the 80s. <laughs> no, you was born to party. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, brother? So, everyone, you might notice we're at a wider angle. We're, uh, we've got something we haven't done. We've not had a guest in a while. This is the first, uh, guest in the, in the new studio. It, this is the first guest in the new studio. We did it on location with, uh, Joe and at Red Buffalo. At Red Buffalo. And we've been to Old Nick Williams. Been to Old Nick Williams. I think this is the first one we've ever had an in house. And then, in the new studio. Studio. Yep. And yep. that is... You did the right one. Thank you. Um, so, yeah. We're in the new studio, and this is our first guest. So, you want to announce our guest? Yes, absolutely, ladies and gentlemen. So, thank you so much uh, for Mr. Spencer Price coming on the Sips, Rips, and Flick Show. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I was told to sit in the corner and not talk. So. <laughs> but now we gave him a microphone. That's right. And now, look at that. Ooh, I just got a circle completed good job i know it's you, last you really today you... <laughs> <laughs> i'm running incredible rate of speed harry <laughs> but before we get jumped into all this there was huh? a great story that was happening i want to go back to it so um you were talking spencer about your enormous dome and how that when you were <laughs> young what? wait where was <laughs> you, i you were in the bathroom peeing oh okay so uh go ahead and finish your story that you you know there's this there's this hat company called mammoth because there's apparently a lot of guys out there. I'm not one of them. I got a little pea head. I got a little tawny brain. So I have a small head. But there are a lot of people that we know who have big old heads that literally can only wear hats that snap on the last button. Right. You know, they're hanging on. So, Spencer, you're one of those guys? I am. Oh, okay. <laughs> my uh, my mother had to have a C-section, clearly. <laughs> and then two weeks later, you go back for the checkup, and the doctors told my parents that I was likely going to end up retarded because my head was growing so big so quickly <laughs> a couple years later still struggling to walk because i kept tipping over <laughs> you're lying please tell me you're lying but that's oh. there's a reason my hat is not buttoned right now I mean, sometimes you get a guest that steals the show. You know? It, it doesn't been stole. Show's over. Oh. Show's over. Thanks, folks. Thanks, guys. Oh, that is beautiful. Well, that that's a great good, story. That's a good story. Damn, that made me sweat. I'm sweating as well. So, Spencer. But to um, all you big-headed people out there, we love you. And there is a hat company called Mammoth, I think. Yes. That actually makes a special large yes. hat for those and for those of you who have like a fitted size eight, you know, so for, for for perspective, you know, before Barry Bonds went juiced, he was my size, and then he went to a mammoth hat, right? Because yes. he couldn't. You remember when he was like this? I do. He's like, nah, I ain't taking nothing. Uh, <laughs> it's all just lots of practice in the back. Engaged. Man, I've been drinking milk. Yeah. Why did I give him a Mike Tyson voice? I don't know. I don't know either. So, but in all seriousness, it is called Mammoth Headwear. Yeah. And we'll drop the uh, we'll drop their website right down here so you guys can see it. But uh, yeah, it's cool. It's they're cool. They're good hats. I, you know, if they became a sponsor, can you have like a baby mammoth? Because I can't wear your mammoth. Actually, let me see a mammoth hat. I just want to see what this looks like on the smallest setting. So if I just grabbed it like here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it looks good. It actually improved your look. <laughs> Give me that radio face. <laughs> oh, you got a beautiful face for radio. <laughs> so here's the smallest setting on Mammoth. I bet I can still wear it. Oh, you can't even. You can't even snap it. You don't even make it that small. <laughs> Looking good. I got them cowboy Curtis ears. <laughs> Here we go again. All so, right. Anywho. Yep. So uh, Spencer lives in our neighborhood, and 
uh, been hanging out at the pool and around, and we've been talking to him about several different things, and he come to see us tonight, and he brought a little gift, right? He did. He brought us a little something special, and this is a Wild Turkey Kentucky Spirit single barrel, and this is a bourbon whiskey was bottled uh, October the 13th, 2022, from the barrel number 2896, one of my favorite numbers, stored in Warehouse T for ta <laughs> <laughs> uh, On Rick, there's a lot of shit going on here. Rick number 31 <laughs> selects. still reading? Well, God Almighty. Oh, by the way, this is a. <laughs> Get your readers out. Get your is readers that a Colvavier or a connoisseur? <laughs> here, you read this. that. So, uh, the last word starts with a C. A connoisseur. That's what I thought. Yeah. Well, because I am a connoisseur of the bourbon. <laughs> So this bourbon whiskey, like he said, bottled 10, 13, 22, uh, barrel 2896, stored in warehouse tea. And it says, because we kind of got lost in translation. Ah, uh, sure. It says it's selected for the bourbon connoisseur. Mm-hmm. So, Spencer, you said that you uh, keep this one. This is one of your top picks. That's correct. So I've actually never, ever in my whole life had wild turkey. I've had wild turkey, but. It wasn't the good wild turkey, I don't think. There is no bad wild turkey. <laughs> I don't know. The wild, wild turkey seems to make me do d- dangerous things back in the other days. Hey, so let me ask this, Spencer. Um, is this a, is it hard to find? Can you find it most places? <clears throat> you can find it most places. It's a single barrel, so I believe it comes from one barrel. <laughs> it's fair. So that's a good assumption, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so- <laughs> So, 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 what's what's the price point of this bourbon? What's, uh, what's, well, how much does this bottle cost? I believe in the sixties. Okay, God, I might say if it was a double barrel, be one twenty. That's right. <laughs> Sometimes your math is astounding. This son bitch right here is one hundred one proof. <laughs> I'm out. I can't do it. Hey, you can be living that too early in the night for taters. You can be living that tater life here in a minute. <laughs> I'm just going to let you know. Hashtag Tater Life. Thanks, Jamie it's Cash. catch a trend. So you said, like, I've never had wild turkey, and you said uh, you've had the bad wild turkey. Well, I mean, I had whatever, I guess, your bottom shelf wild turkey is. Like, I'm talking like, you know, younger days, I mean, people get their hands on, you know, different alcohols. Wild turkey was one that was always around, right? Hey, listen, if that old booger peeled a runner, <laughs> Matthew McConaughey's a... Spokesperson <laughs> for Wild Turkey. He's been driving Lincolns before there was a Lincoln. His granddaddy was Abe. Can you imagine the amount of booger he flicked on that commercial? <laughs> that was, listen. <laughs> yes. I've known you for almost 30 years now. We're getting damn close. Yeah. That might be one of your best impressions. Just from I'm the not booger lying. roll? No, I'm not lying. <laughs> what, what, you've I've done, had a lot of practice at this. <laughs> you've done a lot of impressions. Yeah. Mike Tyson, top notch. Appreciate it. This Matthew McConaughey, though, might be your thing. Well, can, I, can, can you give me just a little bit more? Just a little bit more. <clears throat> well, see, I can, <laughs> I can try to speak to you about the consistency of the wild turkey. It takes you back to your roots. I can remember stuffing bodies in the back of that Lincoln back when I was a boy. Can you do it without rolling? rolling? No. This is like, this is my monometer. What's that thing called? They go, so if, if, is that a monometer? Uh-uh. It's a, uh, uh, people do it in music business. Yeah, it's a monometer. I don't think that's what it's called. I'll just keep saying it until I make it real. You can't tell me what it is. I don't think that's it's what it's called. It's a tap meter? Metronome? Yeah. Yes. Metronome. <laughs> I mean, Spencer has come through, and hey, from now on, Spencer might be the look at that big brain old Spencer. <laughs> well, <you gotta> well. <laughs> oh man, I have laughed. I'll so tell you much. what, I would love to do if we can find it. I will be more than happy to dress up like Matthew McConaughey in true crime while he drinks that Lone Star beer. And Ooh, yeah. smoke some cigarettes. I was going to say, if you were to dress up as Matthew McConaughey, what would you do exactly besides not shower for a while? Play the bongos naked. <laughs> Remember when he did that with Woody Harrelson? I, I do. Yeah, he, he got not, in trouble. And he doesn't wear deodorant, right? Or well, it's natural deodorant. 
Sorry. He, he used to we not went wear off on deodorant. Tangent. Listen. Trying to be all we natural. We got Spencer some questions. We, <laughs> but we're going <laughs> to. Do you wear deodorant? <laughs> yeah. What, what kind do you wear? What's your flavor? Uh, Dove. The blue kind. Really? The blue yeah. Dove or the blue Cap? Is that a gel or a rub on? Like the white powder? <laughs> not a white powder. Not a white powder. You seriously, does Dove make men shit? It says Dove men's. I don't think you can have Dove and men like the same sentence. I'll, I'll check for you. Okay. Spencer, that might have soy in it. You might want to check on time. that. <laughs> best time. See, I use Old Spice. Uh, high Endurance. I've been using that shit forever. That's what I use, too. But do you use... The, mine's a deodorant, not an antiperspirant. I don't use antiperspirant because I don't sweat. sweat more. I don't sweat. Antiperspirant makes me sweat more. Really? I'm allergic to aluminum, I think. <laughs> <laughs> that came out of fucking nowhere. <laughs> Are you allergic? But a lot of people are allergic well, to me, aluminum. It makes me sweat more if I use an antiperspirant. It's also aluminum, and it gives you cancer. That's what my mama said when she smoked cigarettes. I ain't wearing that shit to give you cancer. <laughs> I ain't going. I'll show them. <laughs> I'll show them. I ain't wearing. The, hey, hey, cancer companies involved in deodorant company. They'll give you cancer. So let me point this out real fast. Go ahead. I want you to think of a question mm-hmm. to ask Spencer <laughs> while I think while I do this. Okay. So we were going to start keeping... I thought keeping... you were leaning over. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do no, this. No, we were, we were going to start keeping these Short, shorter. Well, we so so we're almost one. at 12 minutes and ain't even tasted nothing right. yet. Well, I'm going to pour this. Rainsley's going to be so mad. Well, she's been mad at us before. Go easy. Go easy. It's 179 that. proof or something. God dang, it's right. So I will say this. I love the, how the top of this bottle looks. Um, you see it. It's like it's almost like a shorter. You see what I'm talking about? You know what it's almost like? It's almost like one of those camping water things that's metal. <laughs> Did you just lick your fingers? <laughs> Maybe <laughs> you were trying to pass the bottle. I don't know what you were doing with the bottle. I, don't know I was what getting I'm nervous. Uh, so, um, I love how the top of that bottle is. It's almost like a sawed off. It's like a sawed off shotgun bottle. This thing, this right here is going to hurt our feelings. I'm going to go ahead and let you know. Will you pass that green cup back there to the guy who doesn't talk? (laughs) Stop yelling at me. I'm excited about this. This is my first wild turkey trip. So, So, Spencer, if, so Brandon's never had wild turkey, we've established. Is this like the top shelf of wild turkeys? Like, is this like your. Listen, wild turkey comes in top shelf. And topper shelf. <laughs> so is this a <laughs> topper? So, so is this the a Russell double family de- doesn't appreciate you <laughs> saying wild turkey's bottom shelf. So is this a double decker? Is that how that works? I don't. Know. I don't know. <laughs> Let's just try it. Let's just drink it. What do you think? Shall we? I, I'm scared. Of so it. now, uh, cheers. By the way, thank you for coming on the show. Yes, sir, Thanks Spencer. For thank you for coming. And uh, while you check this out, you're actually from Kentucky, right? Born and raised. Hmm. That might be the smoothest bourbon I've ever drank in my life. I am not even lying. Topper shelf. It double decker. You're telling me that is a hundred and one proof? There ain't no way. There, there can't be. Pour me half that bottle. You want one oh one on this son bitch right here? Ain't no way that's hundred and one proof. I got a hundred and one problems and wild turkey ain't one. Hit me. That's the smoothest bourbon I've ever had in my life. I don't know. But God dang. Get you, get you, get, get you, get you, you more. one. Get you pulled Get you down. a little more. Isn't that? That's good. I'm going to have to I, walk my golf cart home. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good sign. I ain't kidding you. Brandon, would you walk your golf cart home for this one? <laughs> Tater life. This ain't no lie. I was That's scared. really good. I was scared this to death of it. This ain't hot a bit. I was scared to death of it. Mm-mm. This might be the smoothest bourbon I've ever had in my ain't life. Ain't hot a bit in your mouth. I should have bought it. I, looked, I saw it today. I Did was at the really? ABC store in Mount Airy, and I saw one of these. And I I mean, I swear, I stopped, looked at it, and I was like, I ought to get that, but I just didn't get it. When you go to Mount Airy and you call me, do you have to put a quarter in the pickle jar and say, Sarah? <laughs> Sarah, put me through to Brandon Crouch. Put me through to Brandon on my way yes, home. Yes, sir, Andy. No. But I want to go to Mount Airy. I, I go once a week. You can ride with me anytime. We can go do the patrol car ride through Mount Airy. Bull. Oh, yeah. They do a patrol car ride? In Andy Griffith's car. Bullshit. Yes. No, they don't. How I, much is it? I, I, it can't be more than 
thirty bucks. I don't know. I'll, I'll take the whole I'll family. Pay. <laughs> it's priceless. <laughs> I'll pay for God, it. I'll tell you what. If you go with me one day, I'll pay for you to ride through Mayberry in the cop car. I'd love to. And we'll do a podcast. Can we go fishing at the pond? I don't think I don't think the pond's in Mount Air. So you know what my wife and daughter watch right now religiously? Little House on the Prairie. <sighs> my wife loves that show. Are you serious? She can tell you. That's crazy. Listen. What's one show, Spencer? That you, as soon as it comes good. on, you can be like, oh, this is the one where, and you tell what it's about. Do you have a show that you can do that? Probably The Office. I've never seen one episode of The Office. Not one episode? Nope. So I've watched the first three episodes <clears throat> of The Office. I started the first episode, and I didn't like how the camera and stuff was, so I cut it off and never went back to it. Did you got to get through season one. That's what I've heard. Somebody Everyone told me just skip that. it all together. Should have. Wouldn't hurt. Okay. <laughs> Are you, will you get lost if you don't? If you do no. skip season one, it comes no. back around. Oh, oh am I smart? Enough? Well, you got a big brain. Am I smart enough to watch this shit? <laughs> yeah. You got a mammoth brain. Should, ma- a mammoth brain. Yeah, big hats for mammoth brain. So, so, so the reason I brought that up real quick. Yeah. So, what show can you, as soon as it comes on? Oh, this is the episode where this happens. I don't know, man. I got a lot of shit going. So, on mine's there. Saved by the Bell. Anyway. Oh yeah. Well. Anyway. <laughs> That's fair. Little House on the Prairie? Yep. My wife. First 10 seconds. Oh, this is one where blah, little, blah. little so-and-so falls down the hill. And blah, blah, blah. I will say, what's that one little girl's name? Nelly? I, I don't know. My, pull her little curls. She's a turd. I All tell right. Sullivan, don't grow up to be like her. Don't. But uh, So, so uh, this is your, uh, real quick, question for you, Spencer. What is your daily drinker at the house? Everyone's in the bed. You got time to yourself. What are you going to pour yourself to drink? It's not going to be this one, right? Because this, this one, this, this is a special, special occasion. occasion. That's right, double decker. I will usually go either Wild Turkey eighty proof. Ooh, they make one of those. They do, really. Or I enjoy Maker's Mark as well. I actually I like Maker's Mark too. So <clears throat> my wife's uh, uncle, which I guess that makes him my uncle in law. He loves Maker's Mark. I have not acquired the taste for it as much as he has but i'm interested to try so i want to i want to i want to dive into this wild turkey a little more. i'm gonna tell you what <clears throat> this might be i'm gonna throw it out there this uh, might be this might be my favorite bourbon that i've ever tasted ever tasted i'm serious it is smooth I'm dead serious it is smooth for 101 proof this thing is dead smooth serious. i would like to try it neat Honestly. Well, there, dump your ice in this cup. <laughs> well, <okay>. big boy. <laughs> Get you some. Get, Get you. Go neat. I ain't scared. So, Spencer, you're from Kentucky. Ooh. From Kentucky. Yep. And did you grow up um, knowing about bourbons? Obviously, you weren't drinking them, but like, do people in Kentucky learn about bourbons? Like the history? Like, hey, we're Kentucky, we make bourbon. Yes, there's not much to be proud of when you're from Kentucky. <laughs> we've got horses, we've got Kentucky basketball, we've got bourbon. Can I just say I love every answer that you give? <laughs> no, they're, mean, they're spot on. They're Have so you been good. practicing? You practice. I, it's almost like we sent a script, which we didn't, but it's when, it's like he's prepared. And I don't know how. Literally, we didn't even know what the hell we're doing. Trying to throw him off here. Um, so this, go ahead. No, no, no. This is delicious, and I'm about to try this sip. But I want to ask you because right now I'm going through for the second time through Justified. Which is in? Do you know where Harlan County is in Kentucky? Sure do. No way. Do you really? Yeah. Have you ever been there? I have. Son of a bitch. How how awesome is it? It's beautiful. Is it really? Yep. Is it like they portray it? Because I know they didn't actually shoot Justified in Kentucky at all. It's in L.A. Uh, but or some parts of California. Sorry. But is it like they portray it on the show? All poor backwoods. Coal miners, blue collar. Is it like that? Salt of the earth people. Yes. Kentucky is full of the best people you've ever met in your life. Damn it. I want to go to Kentucky. I'm going to try this right here. And by the way, for those of you who haven't watched Justified, it is fantastic. Timmy, Timothy Oliphant and um, Boyd Crowder, his real name is something. <clears throat> and he's the one that has boobs on Sons of Anarchy, correct? He yes okay that is him okay but I, I follow him on Instagram it's not Coggins it's um crap well but he has a bourbon out 
And I would love for us to try to find it and try it. We should. Yeah, but so, that show is fantastic. Justified's great. So, um, Spencer, you already talked about your daily drinkers. This one, um, the Wild Tucky. I mean, sorry. Wild Tucky. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're getting no getting south in the Tucky. <laughs> so don't, don't you're getting a speech impediment. That's how good it is. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, this is the smooth. Blah, blah, blah. How'd I the get most mouth? Turkey. By the Kentucky way, spirit. that neat is good. Try it. It's good. Um, are there other, what's something else that you would recommend to people? So like this one, I think would be a good gift to someone. Oh, right? this is a great gift. What else? It is. What else? Russell's Reserve. I, I have that one. I've never head. had that. Just rare, mm. wild turkey, rare breed. Now that one here that comes in. so good. But it comes in a little hot. But it's smooth. You can drink it. Listen, Wild Turkey brought my wife and I together. <laughs> you know who I blame for that? You blame Wild Turkey. I blame Eric Church. You son of a bitch. <laughs> so, what's okay, can you tell us that story? A little story? That's uh, just spring break. Some Wild Turkey. Daytona Beach. Panama City Beach, close enough. Right. Right next door. Eskimos running Maybe. around. Shit yeah. gets crazy. Yeah. Yeah, just a couple shots. So, that's where you met your wife? Yeah. Did on. y'all, where, now, where did you go to college? You're Appalachian State. Okay, where'd she go to college? Appalachian State. And y'all met down there? Yeah. Y'all didn't meet well, on campus. Or you knew each other on she campus. She knew me before I knew her. Of well, course, because course. you're the coolest guy ever. I mean, and, number one, have you heard your answers? <laughs> number two, have you seen your silhouette in that wig? <laughs> so, <laughs> so y'all had been on campus, passed by each other maybe, then you see each other on spring break. Yeah, we had a similar group of friends that we went on the same spring break trip with. And what did you say to her? What was the very first thing you said to her? Was it a pickup line? I hope so. All right, all right, all right. Would you like a shot of wild turkey? <laughs> get some every time. And she was I mean, like, get some every time. I say yes. <laughs> uh, you want a shot of wild turkey and get married and have kids? Move out to the country club and hang out with these guys on podcasts? Sure. <laughs> Where do I sign? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. So, Brandon, <sighs> wild turkey. Kentucky Spirit, single barrel, 101 proof. Will you not only walk across the street for it, but will you up your price point and buy one for your house? So I would definitely speak out to everyone, and I would give this as a gift because this is a this is something that comes not just from my pocket, but it comes from my soul. And I mean this to everybody. Oh, that's good. That is good. No, I would absolutely. Uh, I would frolic and skip along. Skip to Malou across the street for this little sucker here. Uh, that's I would, delicious. So, um, you know, we started this something how long ago? And we drank a lot <laughs> Three of bourbon. Three days. We drank a lot of bourbon since I'll take me this episode. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this episode has been going on for years. His head's still growing. <laughs> He's got to get the mammoth quadruple XL by the time. Anyway, we've been doing all these bourbons. I think as we go, yeah, my my palate, I guess, is I'm not gonna say it's refined, but I'm right. I'm learning. Yes. But we've drank a lot of stuff. This one by far yep. is the smoothest we've ever had. So for so sure. I will walk across the street for it. hundred yeah. percent. So for sure, as high octane as this thing right here is. <clears throat> this uh, one right here for me is scary dangerous. Yes. Because next thing you know, I'm having a couple cocktails with my friends, laughing. And next thing you know, I'm living that tater life. <laughs> <laughs> Dropping it in taters everywhere. Not a good idea. I, would, I just want to ask Spencer more questions. He has the best answers. Well, like, we, we like can we come to, back. We got to take full advantage of Spencer. We can I, keep I mean, going. What else can we ask? Well, I'll tell you what. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, you know, here's what we're going to do. Ladies and gentlemen, we appreciate you tuning in for this. Yes. And if you would like to hear more, tune in to the next episode of Sips, Riffs, and Flicks. My name is Brandon. And I'm Kevin. Tell your mama, tell your friends, tell everybody. And tag people and share. And if you like wild turkey, and if you like Matthew McConaughey. Rolling boogers in a Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> like, comment, share. See you guys later. Thank you. See ya. Bye.